Um, it, you know what else? You know what else today was? Tax day. Tax day. Now you see, you potentially, since you paid in for a whole year, you might have the chance. I, I, I don't know how how your taxes came out, but you probably get some back, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, me no, I don't. I don't. I I owed them because they don't take my taxes out, so I had to pay uh-huh. taxes. Yeah. Sucked. But hey, you know, I get to do this with my life. True. <laughs> totally worth it. Worth it. No. So, OK, this week, I'm pretty sure the first two stories we've got, you know what we're going to do. And then we have even more horrible things thereafter. Because awesome. The first one, 20 damn people messaged me the minute this shit happened. So let's let's get to it, shall we? Each week, Catherine goes out the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here. But we'll say we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you. And yeah, this is. It's it's why do we have to put up with these people just because they're famous? Oh, yes. yes. (sighs) Bieber camp mum over and Frank controversy as rabbi defends him now for what (sighs) I. For those of you who are living under a fucking rock. What happened was I clicked the link. The link does nothing. Link does nothing. Well, you probably already know what happened. Um, Justin Bieber visited the Anne Frank house in Amsterdam and he went to the guest book and wrote truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. Yeah, as in fans of now I do love this story this explains this adolescent and teen girls obsessed with the Canadian singer are known as believers and Frank died a teenager in Nazi concentration camp in 1945 that's dramatic juxtaposition kids I I I get I get what he was going for like he was trying to be cute and you know Oh, maybe she would have been a fan of me, la la la. And she was a teenager, so maybe if she was around now, she would have been, but... It's it, Frank! Some things aren't about you, dude. And I know that you've been famous since you were, like, a fetus, so you don't understand that, and that's a real shame, but... Some things aren't about you. What's he gonna do for an encore? Oh yeah, Helen Keller, if she could have heard, she would have totally been my fan. She would have loved my shit. The fuck? Some things aren't about you, dude. Well, Paradox, just... You gotta wonder what sort of world they live in where one of the most important historical figures of the 20th century is suddenly put in this context of would she like baby, baby, baby? Yes, I think she would. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, Justin Bieber. Why is it? I mean, he's been like slowly going insane. Going? No, like it's been getting worse. Like he's walking around in hammer pants all the time and he started doing this thing where he walks like a like a monkey and he like spit on his neighbor and punched a paparazzo and like he's kind of lost his mind. So he's taking the uh, Michael Jackson route, I take it. No, because he's gone like bad. Cra- like Michael Jackson was eccentric. You know, he was kind of crazy, but not. Mm. Yeah, he was. Well, he, was, he didn't go around being a dick to people. Well, Michael he did he just hover his child over the fucking balcony. You remember that bit? Yeah, there was. 
like I'm not saying Michael Jackson never exhibited poor judgment, but he didn't go around being a dick to people. And now no. Bieber is one of those people you're like, you got no room, dude. No, 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 no. You're Justin Bieber. I, I could I could quite comfortably whoop his ass. I say this with with no reservation, no hesitation. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that if given the op- option and opportunity, I could whoop the fuck out of Justin Bieber. That's not a position. And that's me. I'm not. I, that's me for fuck's sake. That's not a position you want to start from. <laughs> if you're going to think you're going to be a badass. Yeah, that's like, you know, it, it's like it goes from Tweety Bird, then me, then you go like a <laughs> hey, couple. Tweety Bird's kind of a badass, though. He kicks yeah. the crap out of that cat all the time. All right. The other story we have that has to deal with famous people is I. I feel so bad <coughs> because this is just one of the most awful things I could think could happen to a celebrity. And I've seen, we've all heard of awful things. This is one of it's probably not the most, but it's one of them. Um, Kathleen Thurston, New York woman charged with stalking actor Hugh Jackman. And you're thinking, oh, OK, it's just another stalker. No, no. Um, oh, there's more actor. Hugh Jackman is shaken, but OK, after an alleged stalker rushed him at a New York City gym on Saturday morning and threw a razor at him. Police say Jackman tried to defuse the situation and told the woman not to touch him. Um, the 47 year old confronted him outside the gym, telling him she loved him and asked him if they were going to get married. She then allegedly followed Jackman inside the gym, crying and screaming while pulling out an electric razor filled with hair out of her waistband. My, my boyfriend tweeted this and asked if anybody had seen me that day <laughs> hair he has, to, he has to have those mutton chops for wolverine don't be insulting about it it's just for a job i'm not going where you're going because i refuse i'm not following you on that trip who does that crazy people that's that's not like that is this some weird courtship ritual I missed in some part of the world? You know, you you find who you wish to be your intended mate, then you fling pubes at them. Is this how this works? Maybe. I mean, he is Australian. <laughs> you're just going to you're going to keep pushing this shit until they're just going to like set, find all the dangerous <laughs> animals and put them in a box and send <laughs> them to us. Maybe. And we're it's going to have a box that's going to say candy inside. And we're like, oh boy. And we're gonna, it's not candy. It's the Italian. <sighs> I want a major award. Yeah, and it's but made it will of, be all the deadly animals. Yes. <sighs> I like I'm saying I are the off, obviously awful things happen to celebrities and much worse than this. But this is just ew. Ew. And, you know, those electric razors have some weight to them. You could you could like concuss somebody with one of those fuckers if you threw it hard enough. I don't care so much about the razor. I, you know what? If you gave me the option of being concussed by an object of approximately the same weight and shape and whatnot, I would be perfectly happy to take that one. If especially if it's not covered in some stranger's pubes. We don't know that that's what it was. Hair came out of her waistband. No, the razor came out of her waistband. With hair. Yes, maybe that's just where she was keeping it. Because she didn't have pockets. (laughs) In her pajama jeans. Hmm. Bless you. Thank you. I... I, (sighs) I have Jackman's quotes probably good. Here's a woman who obviously needs help. So I just hope she gets the help she needs. That's good. Jackman told CBS New York. I suppose for me, the primary concern is my family. Obviously. Yeah, nobody wants to get hair thrown at their kids. That's just. (laughs) (sighs) I just wonder what the thought process is there. 
like you're stalking your favorite celebrity. At what point does that turn into? I know how to make him love me. I'll throw a used razor at him and then he'll love me. No, no. Any, any, any bot, any grooming product that has the word used in front of it. Yeah, I don't. That's that's. Uh, Cosmo has never put that tip in one of their magazines, to my knowledge. And they've put a lot in those fucking magazines. Yeah, they once suggested that you poke your boyfriend with a fork as a like for a, Yeah, no, it made that as like Cosmo's like intro to BDSM tips. They actually suggest poking a man with a fork. They just make the shit up to see who actually does it. I don't know how that's supposed to be sexy. <laughs> But they actually suggested it. But still, they never suggested throwing a used razor at a man. Speaking of, I don't know how that's supposed to be sexy. <laughs> we have a wonderful segue here. Um, I don't like that segue. This is from Kingsport, Tennessee. Man drove 90 miles per hour with genitals hanging out the window. Oh, Three women testified against former Mount well, Carmel. Well, I mean, if they're that big, that's kind of sexy. In a freakish porn kind of way. Oh, but wait, it gets, it's better. Three women testified against former Mount Carmel vice mayor, William Blakely. Grab nice. Grabber recounting times. He exposed himself while driving. Um, uh, personal accounts and uh, Thursday's testimony say the same. Blakely allegedly waving to get the driver's attention, then escalating by honking and partially crossing in the driver's lane. Uh, waving, grabbed his shirt, kind of pulled up. After the waving, turned a lot of beeping, grabs his chest area, and asked me, going, please, please, with his hands, may I show me yours? Over 90 miles an hour, he had his penis out the window, he was masturbating, and that's when it got really, really bad. Do you know what's stuck in my head right now? Do your ears hang low? Do they wall to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? I mean, you just replace the word ears and with yeah that. I first off, I have to admire this. I'm man. sorry about my singing voice. I have a cold. I have. So it's worse than usual. I have to admire this man's driving skills. Yeah. Because to be able to jerk off while driving at 90 miles an hour and doing it out a window. Yeah. That's that's talent. Get I, this guy a porn contract immediately. I just it. Is there any woman in the world who would see that and go, take me now? It doesn't matter. He's going too fast. He'd never know. <laughs> yeah, you know, at 90 miles an hour, somebody going by doing that, you have to wonder if you'd even notice. I know. You could be like, yeah, let's do this. He's never going to fucking know. He's already gone. Because if I'm driving like, you know, I normally do about 60, 70, and suddenly, Vroom! I wouldn't know there was a dick pointed at my car. Like... I mean, I've heard the term drive by used to describe a man's mm. sexual prowess or lack thereof. Mm. Never quite so literally. Oh, oh, OK. All right. The Fap and the Furious. That that was a good one. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm sorry that that was. <sighs> oh. Gone in 60 seconds. I just, oh, oh, uh, I, I. <sighs> and what was he, a former DA? No, he's a, he was a vice mayor, uh. <laughs> which means this guy was in charge of your tax money. The people in Mount Carmel, Tennessee, this guy, this guy was in charge of, of the monies. He's he's. Jerking his ass off out of the window. Maybe that's what drove him to it. No pun intended, weirdly. Mm. (laughs) 
Okay, so speaking of stuff happening on the highway, we, we, we said last week we're sick to fucking death of the zombies. I think it was, it was last week or the week before. Just the, Yeah. We're sick to death of the fucking zombies. Zombies need to stop it already. Well, apparently... <sighs> Except for the Game of Thrones ice zombies, they can stay. I have used many excuses for why I've been doing something wrong on the highway. I I have used um, uh, I have a relative in the hospital. I'm not proud. I'm not proud. But I've used I have a relative in the hospital. See, I, I did that once, but it was true. Well, yeah, I've used um, I'm late for work. I've used, you know, you've used all those. I, I, I don't. There's a reason why I haven't used this one, and that's probably because it wasn't going to work. Cause of multiple collisions in California? Zombies, drivers tell police. A young transient who said he was trying to shake zombies off a stolen semi-trailer truck he was driving caused a major freeway incident in Southern California, sent four oh. people to the hospital, you douche, and tied up traffic for hours. Jeremiah Clyde Hartline, 19, was arrested in connection with a theft of an 18-wheeler loaded with strawberries. Uh, Officer Nate Bayer said... uh, All right, that's a waste of perfectly good strawberries, you asshole. uh, He said Hartline had been riding with truck driver Daniel Martinez since his trip started in Tennessee after being kicked out of his home. Martinez stopped to fill out paperwork at an inspection site. He left Hartline alone in the truck. Hartline then jumped behind the wheel of the truck, sped off, and soon after crashed into several vehicles on the freeway. Arline apparently said it was under the influence that said that caused him to hallucinate. He thought zombies were chasing him and clinging to the truck. That's that's some good drugs, man. <sighs> no, those are bad drugs. Like, no, I hope. Like, he got the high quality shit. Those are bad drugs. If, if you are at a point in your life where you honestly think fictional monsters are attempting to get you, you believe this, you know this with all your... That's not a good drug. And I'm, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. You know what good drugs? Weed is a good drug. You know why? Because you just well, chill. That's I a mean, good drug. Alcohol. Alcohol is a good drug. Take alcohol... You know, you just chill. He was in California. Yeah, 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 yeah. California, fucking California, that, that. I can see making that mistake. <sighs> yeah. But, you know, I, I just <laughs> have to wonder what the officers did. The, did the officer take him? Oh, yeah, zombies. Right, okay. Zombie. Can you describe the zombies, sir? Were they fast or were they slow moving? Um, well, I don't know. They were clinging to the truck, man. Were, were they were they actual zombies or were they just infected like 28 days later? We got to get this down for the report. It's very important. No, he was already in the truck and then like... Yeah. Okay. So he was like hitchhiking. Yeah, this is why you don't pick up hitchhikers, truckers. This is one of the many reasons you don't pick up hitchhikers. Because all of a sudden, the son of a bitch could think zombies are chasing him and fuck up your truck. Or kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that There's too. There's a lot of reasons you don't pick up hitchhikers. This is just one of them. Just one. Because he's going to ruin your perfectly good batch of strawberries. <laughs> Oh, OK, we, we've got this next one is definitely a douche quake. This just you know what? I've got to actually get the music for this one. Um, yeah, because th- this 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 must happen. Come on, Gunther. Yeah, get this. Now, you'll understand why when you see this headline. Because. Oh Toddler my used as pepper spray shield. Oh, that's not acceptable. Oh, you touched my ta-la-la. It's a douche quake! Oh. A Hawks Bay man 
who allegedly used his one year old son as a shield against pepper spray and given name suppression. 20 year old man appeared in Hastings District Court this afternoon, was granted interim name suppression, remained in custody until later this month. Um, police went to arrest the man who was wanted with outstanding warrants. When they entered the, ha- the house, he became violent. Police used pepper spray to, quote, neutralize him, at which point they say the man grabbed his one year old son and his girlfriend to use as a shield from the spray. The man then allegedly barricaded himself in the house with his partner and child. Before making esca- uh, before making escaping, wait a minute. Read that. Lo- Do you can you read that one? Before making escaping yeah. the house through a window, editing or making it's what's for dinner. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake! Really, you're. <sighs> oh, this really hurts. Okay, number one, that's not how you, you that's not how, how I, I know you say you need to build character with your kids. That's not how you do it. That's, that's not. Well, also, that's not going to work. No. That stuff is airborne. It's going to get in your eyes anyway. Yes. You fucking idiot. I'm amazed the girlfriend didn't beat the shit out of him. And it's going to do a lot more damage to your young child's eyes than yours, probably. But it's going to hurt anyway. So you've just you've just hurt your child for fucking nothing. Uh, it's. <sighs> you giant bag of dicks. Is that is that the party size or the is that the party size bag of dicks or the family size bag of dicks? Oh, that's like the jumbo Costco size bag of dicks. Oh, OK. Oh. That's the Costco bag of dicks. I just. <sighs> And every one of them is hooked to the left. <laughs> you know what I'm reminded of? You ever see the dead zone? No. That old Christopher Walken movie where he, I can't do Walken, where he, he gets like psychic visions and there's a guy who's going to get elected and he's going to, uh, president, he's going to set off World War Three. so he decides he's going to assassinate him and he tries to, but the, the guy holds up a toddler yeah, I think it's kind of like that. Only in this case, this guy's never going to amount to that much. No, 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 he's not. He's he's just. And I love how they gave him how they, they hide his name. You don't deserve that, dude. If they kind of have to, though, because like the dudes that do worse and worse in prison. Are people who hurt kids and rapists. You know what? Not feeling that much empathy here. I'm just saying, like, if they want him to even make it to trial, they kind of had to do that. Because you get outed in jail as the guy who held up his one year old as a human shield. You're not you're not going to do very well. I'm not seeing the problem. Well, according to the just, I don't mean, I don't know where this takes place, but most countries that are not horrifying, totalitarian, dystopian regimes like to give people a fair trial before they execute them. Well, it's not execution. It's just more, you know, this is why you don't social remedies. This is why you don't run a country. Yeah, this is why I don't run a country. Okay, there is no segue for the last one. Okay, apparently people, men who hurt their mothers do worse in prison than rapists. I stand corrected. This is, this is, fuck, why does this keep happening? This is, all right, a couple things. This is self-inflicted, so I have no problem reporting on this one. This isn't just gentlemen brace yourselves or ladies brace yourselves. This is pretty much everybody. Everybody clench. Everybody clench. Everybody. Every single body clench. Okay, are you prepared? I'm hearing that to the tune of Footloose now. Everybody clench. Everybody clench. (laughs) Everybody clench. Everybody clench. Porn addict has emergency emergency surgery to remove live eel. He inserted up his backside to copy 
X-rated film. The 39... The 2013! <sighs> Reunion the... tour! Rectilios. The 39-year-old man rushed himself to AD hosp at a hospital in southern China when he couldn't get the creature out. Porn addict had to have emergency surgery to remove a live eel inside his body after he inserted up his backside. Single man told stun medics, please, please help me. The eel is moving through my body. Surgeons finally removed the 20 inch long Asian swamp eel, which made more than half a kilo in the early hours of the morning after a lengthy treatment with drugs and medical probes. Folks, if you think that's bad, just wait till you see this picture. Right there. Like. Big screen. Big screen. Whatever, whatever you're into, I'm not going to judge you. Do, you know, whatever gets your rocks off. If you're not hurting anybody, fine. Do what you're going to do. Godspeed. Living things don't belong inside you. No. Unless you're growing one of them that you made yourself. Or unless you've been to LV-426, like, in which case if, you're not long for the world anyway. But If you made one and it's growing right here, fine. That's a living thing that should be inside you and that's okay. But uh, like living things that didn't start out there don't belong inside you. You don't put an external living thing inside you for any fucking reason ever. King Drew just said, the eels in the butt go num, 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 num. All right. You guys don't get to yell at me for do your ears hang low after that shit. <laughs> uh. I mean, I guess like that probiotic bacteria is technically a living thing and that's supposed to be OK, but I'm just saying they are pointing out this. This is flying sex snakes. It, it, no, it wasn't flying. I mean, I suppose it was kind of undulating. Mm. It's not the same as flying. It's not like it kamikaze bombed this guy's ass. <laughs> if that was what happened, that would be kind of cool in a really terrifying way. 39 years old. Old enough to know better. Yeah, he's older than us. Not by much. Look, don't put hamsters up your ass. Don't put eels up your ass. Don't be like that lady in the urban legend and use a lobster to flick your bits. You know that urban legend, right? I do. I I don't want to. There's this old urban legend about a lady who um was masturbating with a lobster in the bath. And uh, like by, I guess, holding Pause. that. All right. So here, what she was doing was she was, I think, yeah, she was holding it away from her and then like holding a matchup to its face so it would flick its tail. And it, it ends with her painfully birthing like thousands of mud shrimp because the hamster had eaten them and wound up like excreting the eggs into her or something. It's not true. It's very old urgent legend. I have apparently mentioned it before. It's on Snopes. The story to read it is horrifying. It's just another, it's just, it, but it's a good cautionary tale because don't put living things inside you or near your nicks and crannies. I'm, you know, just don't do it. I, I don't consider myself a complete prude. Use a vibrator like a normal person. I, I have had the sex in my lifetime. There's nothing about this situation that that is remotely sexy. Because the, the whole idea of that, I mean, even a penis is not self sentient and moving on its own. A penis doesn't have teeth. You know, I can't possibly I don't see. Know. I mean, have you seen the naked mole rat? That's not a penis either. The naked mole rat is basically a little penis with teeth and feet. And it's proof that God has a sense of humor. But Jesus. 
I'm convinced that all hentai porn can be traced back to the existence of the naked mole rat. <laughs> this right. How does anyone see so just look at a fucking eel and go, you know where that goes? That goes up my butt. But it, it, and, 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 and if you ever think that you are wrong. Yes. You are. You look at any living creature and think that that belongs up your butt, up your vagina. You are wrong. Yeah, that's that. There's there's no. They're so mad at me over the guy over the little naked mole rat from Kim Possible. Jesus. I was Kim Possible for Halloween one year, you guys. I love my Kim Possible. Rufus looks like a penis with teeth. I don't know what to tell you. So I guess that's the first thing we learned this week is that naked mole rats are, are penises with teeth and feet. Yes, they are. They are nature's walking dicks, folks. You've never played Fallout 3, have you? No. Yeah, they have giant naked mole rats that jump up and try to attack you. So that that just adds an entire new level to that game. Nature's walking dicks, folks. Nature's walking dicks. We learned this week that if it has a pulse, it does not belong all, you know, no. No. If it can breathe independently, it does not go in there. The whole thing. It's no. not a. I, I swear that picture, it looks like the fucking picture from Alien. Kind of. Yeah. That can't be fun. That's not. A, that's, and to be fair, that creature does look a bit like the, the penis vagina snake from Prometheus. Yeah. But look how those guys wound up. That didn't end well. We learned slimy, slimy living things don't go. No, we learned this week that Justin Bieber. Um, well, just fuck Justin Bieber is, I guess. I don't think we learned that. I think that's just, you know, reaffirmed. Justin Bieber needs to stop it already. Yeah, he needs to stop. It's just just stop. Just Him stop. and the zombies. 